we found out what this car can really do when it comes to burnouts. And the warranty department finally got back in touch with me, getting that fixed for motherfucking free, goddammit. I'm probably not gonna do no more burnouts. <laughs> It's your boy Boost King checking in with a video. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. So as you may wonder, like, why do I have the safety hard hat on, the safety glasses? Because we are working on the BMW today. Let me, here it is. Um, every video, I'm gonna have, it's gonna start off me working on the BMW, just because this car actually needs way more work than I thought it did. It's like you fix one thing, you um, run into another one. If I drive this car hard for about, Five, 10 minutes, 11, 12 minutes, 20 minutes, the car will start to overheat and like water will just start spurting up, busting out of the radiator cap. The fans may not be working on this car anymore because I had this overheating problem on the Boosted Juke earlier this year, like right before I was supposed to go to Texas. I had to put it in the shop because I really didn't have time to diagnose it. But with the Juke, like if I'm on the highway driving, everything is fine. But as soon as I stop, the car starts to overheat. I noticed the fan wasn't turning on on the Nissan. So I'm actually finna start diagnosing the, um, the, the BMW today. So I will be like just checking the fuses and the relays. First, I'm a, well, I may check and see if it actually, the fan actually turns on, but I don't, I don't recall hearing the fan, seeing the fans moving. Um, and if it's the fan relay that's actually out, I would need a whole new fan assembly because that's what happened on the um, Nissan. Um, my cameraman, he is MIA right now. He is not showing up. So we got to wait for him. Well, actually, I'm going to just get started so y'all probably won't see me testing the codes. I may show y'all the location. It's a sensor on the lower radiator hose. I think it's some kind of sensor for the fan. It's just so tight up in here, y'all. I can't see it. But this is the high radiator hose. The lower radiator hose is right there and we do have a sensor on it. Honestly, if the sensor is bad, it'll just be bad. I'm, I'm gonna test it with the DMM, but I'm not really finna replace no parts on this car. I'm thinking about snatching the whole motor out and upgrading the motor and buying another um, 325i down the road and just work on it for one minute. And then I have this motor that's already built, pushing power and then pushing P. And then we just go with that motor. So um, the fuse box, I honestly didn't do enough research. So this kind of looked like a fuse panel. I don't know if these wires going into it or like a hose, but if you can see, it's some kind of like star key or Allen key, Allen um, bolt that's um, got this locked down. And if that's the fuse panel, that's kind of stupid because you want easy access to that now. So if I was going to drive this car daily or even do burnouts and stuff, I would use this compartment right here under the hood for like a second battery because it got enough space and you just can never have enough power. So I'm actually finna um, just look for this fuse box show and I'll cut the camera back on when we make progress. The battery is super dead, so I can't turn on no AC. Yesterday, we, me and my cousin did like massive burnouts, two massive burnouts back to back. And on the way home, it was overheating. We out of gas and the oil light came on. So I gotta re research, like how do you know the oil level on these BMWs and just make sure we got oil. I may put a couple of quarts in it today. But yeah, the fuse panels on like American cars, I can say this is one of my first time working on a German car, first time owning one. The fuse panels usually be like right here, even though my Nissan is right there. And that's um, Japanese, JDM, I think. So the fuse panel, I think it may be under here. Let's see. No, I don't see it, but um, I'm not trying to get too dirty right now, y'all. So what I'm finna do is probably just hook up a OBD2 scanner and just read the code. I'm working off of one phone right now. My other two are dead. And like I said, my cameraman isn't here, so I can't show y'all what I want to show y'all. I'm gonna have to hook the jump starter up for all of that. And the jump starter is actually in the trunk, burning up. And this piece done fell off. We ain't spin out, like we ain't drifting out like that yesterday. So, 
this car should be good. I need to um move stuff out of here. I think this may be a battery cover. I'm not sure what this is. Um, this here. I think that is a battery cover because every time I come back here, it's something on top of the battery, and that's what I was just getting at, saying we wasn't spent like doing, like we wasn't drifting or anything like that. So this shouldn't have been on top of the battery, but um. After I was riding through the ditch, this fell down, but this here, I think the sun melted this that fell off. I found the um, plug for the OBD2 scanner. I got like a quart of oil, I checked it. Hopefully, um, that'll be all right. And for some odd reason, it's showing gas in here. I can't be right. So this is the Zeus app, what I use for um, my OBD2 scanner. I heard somebody beating down. Curry for the ruin the video. <laughs> Let me check out this nigga car, y'all. I thought it was going to keep going. Let me see some other car. Shut up, We hear you, Carl. We hear you. Yeah, so. I can't even think of what cemetery those niggas at. Hey, hey, cut the copy. Cut the music. Cut the music. Cut the music. Tell the music, nigga. I can't um, show y'all the back because I'm like editing your license plate out. That last video I cut was just too much. But you know, Kai just pulled up. We like we only got time to kick it on Sundays because we two hardworking men. Um, we grew up together, but you know, we're not kids no more. We can't just hang out 24 7 all the time. Nah. And the warranty department finally got back in touch with me, getting that fixed for motherfucking free, goddammit. Okay, he hit him up. <laughs> yes, uh, he better get it for free because it's like a 2022. He bought it with like less Six than- Six miles on it. I was finna say less than a thousand. And I already put 11,000 on it. Too many miles. And come December, in just one week, I'm gonna put 5,000 miles on it. You'll see me in Arizona, Louisiana, Nevada, Las Vegas, God damn it. Yes, uh, <laughs> I meant Las Vegas, Nevada, but you know what I meant. I knew you was going to Vegas. This is what he looked like, y'all. I should've got him over here, cause the fucking- What's up? The sun was in the, the way. Yeah, so you see, see the drip? Y'all see the drip? I run the country, but we still dripping. Uh-huh, Mopar, we all in black. I don't know why we wearing black sure today. It is. But that's the Mopar owner. You can tell how he pull up pretty loud, hop out loud. It's like every time we record a video, he pull up. And the car so I'm out every time. I think this going to be often on every Sunday. Y'all might see my son, him in my Sunday's vlog. Car, you need to see the burnouts I'm doing on the BMW. Let me cut the camera off um, because... I left my glasses at the house again. Because he left his glasses. I got some safety goggles for you, car. <laughs> but yeah, let me chop it up with him and then we'll get back to what we was doing. So, cuz just left. I had to kick it up with him because we, like I say, we both working, man. Just like my little cousin here, um, we can't just hang out with each other every day like we used to when we was kids. Yeah, so I got 8%, so I need to hurry this up. I honestly don't know what I'm doing right now, y'all. Like, he just threw me off. Let me, I just, I barely use this app, y'all. Like, I got this when I was in college or UTI in orlando when i first went me and my roommate got them for free off a website and um i used to use it on the nissan but i haven't used it in a minute you see we do got the boosted juke up here like i said you see we got the boosted juke up here um it is a 2013 nissan it had less than 106,000 miles on it when i got the app but that's how many miles i put on it with but we have the bmw see it? Mm -hmm. we got the bmw 325i Y'all seen what I was just doing? Um, you just gotta pair the car to the device. I'll probably remake this video and show you how to use this app, but I just need to um check the codes on this BMW. Not even gonna read under that because like literally I just need to check the codes on the BMW. Look like my battery charger is dead, y'all. Cause um the car is just blinking. Like I actually left it on by accident um when I was talking to my cuz on the charger. <laughs> And now we finna be dealing with a dead charger. And we just got a, like a couple of gallons of gas in here. I wanna do a burnout. It said no issues detected, that's a lie. Cut the camera. All right, y'all, my phone pretty much dead. This battery charger was dead too. But um, just for the video's sake, we gonna have to burn out too. They don't wanna hear no wind noise. 
If y'all know what that noise is, I'm sure y'all can probably still hear it. Let me know about the AC, which I'm probably not even going to, um, I'm not going to keep this car, so I'm not worried about fixing the AC or anything. I don't turn the jumper box on when all I need to do is hit the USB button. I'm about to get electrocuted, y'all. <laughs> um, so as y'all see, it said no issues detected on the first scan. Show them the dash. Um, uh, we ain't got no power steering, y'all. Let me... They probably can see it. They see it. Mm -hmm. So, um, we got engine light, wash floor light. I think this down here means that one of the tail lights are out. And there is not a code on the transmission. Because usually, I get like some kind of, um, Ooh, 450? transmission phone. What's 450? They get changed about my box. Oh, that ain't bad. And you told them what you got and what you're putting it in? Mm hmm Okay, okay. Um, we'll hit them up after this video. The car is pretty much getting hot, y'all. I did notice the fan is working, so I'm not really gonna worry about checking that. And I just started that. Um, the fan is working, y'all. So I'm gonna just um, see what codes we got. We got a traction control code. I think it's cause like maybe our system is just it's shot, y'all. But I know we got some. It's a fault wrong with this car because the engine light is on. It took a while for this to, uh, there we go. We got four issues detected. Um, and it's still, it's still scanning y'all. So honestly, I don't want this to be a long, boring video. I was gonna screenshot it and then look it up and see what the issues are. But um, I'm gonna just do the research myself off camera because we gotta do what we're gonna do in this car before it gets hot, before the car get hot because we already burning up. Get my neck bones in the park. I swear. I just realized this app does show you what the issue is on the car. So we get one cause, it's probably a mass airflow or something like that. I replaced the sensor and the car is idling better. So I actually just need a clear out code. So that's the code we fixed. Okay. So I remember I haven't cleared the codes yet, but the engine was off. The, actually, the battery was dead. So I figured it reset itself. But we got faulty and ambient air temperature sensor. Um, it can be like a short or something. I look into all of that. Probably electrical connection. Um, that may be while it's running hot because it can't really tell the temp. But probably not. Well, it's running hot because the um, radiator be like bubbling with water or whatever. Um, this code is faulty air intake temperature AIT. Um, uh, like a dirty air filter. So we actually replaced the air filter too. Um, them probably caused it. So hopefully, so far it look like the codes. I fixed, I can go ahead and clear them. And then faulty evaporation system for the Perg solenoid. Um, sound like something AC, but I'll end up looking into all of that. I am finna um, go ahead and clear the codes. You wanna clear the codes with the car off. And now we done, I got the jump box right here, y'all. We done put the jumper cables back in the, um, in the Nissan. So I'm gonna have to hook all of this up before I cut the car off to clear the codes. So when we do that, we'll show y'all what happened. We got everything hooked back up now. And I believe um, all of these codes, I fixed like three of the issues. I was probably all four, I just forgot that fast. It probably will clear the engine light, but I guarantee you, as soon as we start driving, the transmission light gonna come back on. Um, so, and I forgot to crank my Nissan up. We just gonna clear the codes. You always want to clear, you can't, you can tell the fault. Okay, it's showing me like issues on the code, so I'm not sure why I didn't just clear them. It's trying to get me to look at the faults on the codes. And it usually don't have me clear them individually. Only engine codes can be deleted. These are engine codes. Okay, that one's gone, but it's still there. I don't know what's that blue thing keep popping up on my phone. Um, let me cut this AC off because the Nissan is not on. It's saying it's deleted. I might have cut um jump my Nissan off. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm rescanning it, y'all. I don't think it cleared the codes because it would give you like a confirmation message. So we're just gonna see if the codes are still up there. If they are, I'm gonna try to dang it. That's me. That's me. You thought that was you? No, I was gonna just pause it. Uh, so I said no issues detected, y'all. So have dashboard light on, but it shows no. Okay, 
So it said it has the dashboard light on, but it shows no issues detected. So we'll see if that go away if I crank it up. The jump box ain't started. Let me, um, it ain't crunk. Um, let me um, turn on the jump box. It literally takes me on, um, it literally takes two cars to jump this car off, but I got a jump box on my Nissan on. The engine light did go away, so let's see what happened, y'all. Yeah, so the engine light is actually gone. Um, so we'll just see how it drives, how it acts, and I'm sure the engine light will be back. So um, let me get all of this stuff caught up, this electrical jump box and stuff. Up and we'll cut the camera back on when we hit the road. It's really overheating. I probably should have put some brake fluid in it. Cause I'm gonna um, try to do a burnout, y'all. Y'all gonna have to deal with the air. Cause we need a lot of air we can get. It don't even blow cold, y'all. But a little something is better than a lot of nothing. I swear, I feel like I drink the whole street water. Um, but I can't tell y'all, I guess why we're going to the spot. Um, but yeah. I ran into title issues on this car and I was, wasn't able to drive it to North Carolina or Texas. I was planning on getting it when I bought my truck. I was going to get a trailer and tow this car back to Texas. We didn't drive, so I probably don't want to get funny right now. And that went out AC. As soon as I hit it, the AC is like, it's not blowing cold. But yeah, y'all, it's probably a blessing I wasn't able to wasn't able to drive this car to North Carolina because I probably could have killed somebody. Like, what if my car could have stopped? And I was acting the fool, driving too fast. But this video ain't about speed. Me and my cousin, I think it was yesterday, we found out what this car can really do when it comes to burnouts. I need to show y'all what this car can do when it comes to burnout. We figured out it was roasting both tires. It roasted both tires on the first burnout, didn't it? I'm yeah. like, bro, man, I said, I'm from the fifth floor and throwing up a number four. So I think the coolant light has came on. But I'm not even worried about that, y'all. Like, it's not overheating, but it's a coolant light going on. Like, show them the dash. This little light under the, um, like, the windshield washer. I'm not sure what that is. I'll research it. But the car isn't overheating yet, so, um, I ain't know. But the first time we did a burnout, it spun out both tires, y'all. I was, like, going sideways, God. No water, no fluid, nothing on the ground, y'all. Then, um, second later, we tried to do a burnout again. It was only roasting one tire, so I was going, this video was supposed to be about um, just doing a burnout until we run out of gas, but yesterday we barely made it home because we was literally out of gas. We put um, about $10 in here. I got like an eighth of a tank. I hope he got 93, because he was the one who pumped it. So we just finna see what it do. I'm gonna tell him when I start to spin, if the side he own is not spinning, just go to the other side. I'ma still let it eat, which I probably should get out of it and like try to save the car because I'm sure it's still gonna overheat. Yeah, we ain't gonna have to we ain't gonna do it right here like the last time. Cause somebody out there. But <laughs> I ain't even know the white hat that kind of car. Oh shit. He probably like, what in the rubber on the car? <laughs> he look at you. <laughs> Cause y'all, he looked back though. He got, it's a man out there watching his car. We pulled into some rocks. This BMW the Front driver tire is the only tire that has brake power, y'all. The other cars does not, um, the other tires don't stop the car. If they can see the road, also the first time we did a burnout, it was a one wheel pill. I see it just end over. Um, and then we came down here a little bit more and roasted them. It took us a little second to get enough power built up to even start spinning the tires, but it did a massive burnout down here too. I'm not sure we'll see it, um, cause it was like, it wasn't a rolling burnout like that one wheel pill. Um, but I'm gonna have my car hop out and get the car. Man. Okay. Just a little bit. Damn. So it is already trying to overheat y'all. So I'm still gonna see what it do. <laughs>
so um, close you though, cause we just gonna have to die of the smoke. So with me moving, the car cools down, but when it stops, it starts to overheat. Um, just like my Nissan was doing, and I. So it's still trying to run hot. That's probably what I was trying to say. How we just caught up in the moment. Um. But yeah, that was a mean burnout. I don't really know if I could just build this to be like a burnout machine or drag racing. But that's gonna be the video for today, you guys. I was just trying to do a burnout and to see if it overheated or to do a burnout until it overheats. That's gonna be the title of the video. And it was overheating before we even did the burnout. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, as soon as we pulled up to the burnout spot, he was like, um, he already heard the radiator, so. Yo, I um, I done put this car through hell since I came back from Texas, y'all, and I probably should have went easy on it, but I think the first day I got back into the car, I was just giving it hell. I'm probably not gonna do no more burnouts because I am, st even though I wanna buy the car down the road and just use this car for parts, I'm still about to try to sell this car. Somebody who buy a car, um, they want all four tires, even if it's um just gonna be put on the trailer, but this car is drivable. I don't recommend you driving it to wherever you gotta go, but it is still good to have all four tires on the car if it's movable or not.